had him. I just got my food. Everywhere it says that the restaurant opens at nine o'clock. I I went to in the I went in the drive-thru at 9.22 and it was closed now it's 9.43 and I barely got my food I'm back to not going to this restaurant avoiding this restaurant <laughs> that can be a good thing too I shouldn't eat that much crap food and I should make it myself that's always better I am gonna recreate this damn burger and I am gonna make it better I mean anyone can make a better burger than McDonald's to be honest it's not even a challenge <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yeah. No corona here. See ya. So it's quite a nasty storm. Hello. Do you like the storm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like I just stopped filming for two seconds and it got worse. So. Hopefully that tree is going to stay in place. Ah. Ah. Doesn't feel that bad. Do you know what we're having for dinner today? Cereal? No. Do you? Yeah. What? what? Yes. <laughs> yes. Leftovers. That would mean the that would mean we are doing the smart thing, which means we should be smart. But no, we're not smart, so we're not eating the leftovers. What are we having? I want to give the middle finger to McDonald's, so I'm gonna make the Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> the iconic Big Mac, but better. So, I'm gonna make buns. I'm gonna make burgers, patties, and then assemble them. Burger. Burger. So, let's do it. Me going to the store. Do you wanna join? Do you want anything? What the hell did she order? What? She ordered something from uh, Libero. Li Libero? Yeah, Libero. Is the she ordered something from the a diaper company? Oh, I don't know. She's a strong, independent woman. Based on the sound, I'm not really looking forward to going out, to be honest. It's really rainy. Wait, gum, my breath stinks. Let's go oh, outside. We got hopefully everything we need. I'm not sure. Jesus. So I asked her if she wants to come with me to the store. She didn't want it, so I went alone. And now she's 
saying that the package that she ordered, God knows what, I don't remember, is at the place that's really, really close to the store. I'm gonna try to pick up the package in, in her name, with her on the phone, hopefully. I can do it, hopefully. But yeah, that's it. Luckily, people at this store know me <laughs> and I could pick it up and guess what it's big what the hell seriously now I mean I think I know what it is since it's that store I think it's the baby mattress but I don't know which one it might be the changing mattress or the the bassinet mattress. I don't think we ordered the the baby crib mattress. I don't think we did that. I don't remember. How the hell am I gonna carry everything in one go? Because it's raining and I don't want to come back twice. Anyway, McDonald's burger, so we have beef, we have ketchup, we have mustard, other way around, we have butter, we have drinks, so we're gonna stay there, very important, garlic, and then flour. So, the way this is gonna go, I'm gonna start making a uh, Plastic Hokkaido milk bread. Which means I'm gonna have to get my friend out flour in. Yeast goes in. What? Uh, what the one percent milk? Emotional damage. Anyway. Milk in. So, milk and flour. That's that's it. Thicken, my boy. Thicken. Thickened. Egg goes in. Then everything goes over the flour and yeast. And Larry rip. So just barely combined, we leave it for 20 minutes for the flour to get properly hydrated and then we add the salt, sugar and butter. Then we make the classic McDonald's sauce, which from what I remember is equal parts mustard, ketchup and a tiny whisk to combine. So basically that's a McDonald's sauce. It's boring. It can eat a bit of heat. Could use a bit of kick. And just a touch. That's up. Balsonic. Perfect. We bring back the bad boy. Salt in. Sugar in. And we mix. So once mixed, add the butter slowly, it has to be room temperature, and mix the hell out of it. Wait, the most important, I forgot about them. Because sesame buns are always the best. I like to put sesame in the dough. Like a tablespoon and a half. Okay. Our dough is done. We take a well greased bowl and we put the dough in it. Come on, come on, come on. Oil on top. What? Give it this bad boy. Finally. So it rises nicely. There it goes. I usually put it in the oven with the light on for about 
an hour ish and it doubles in size pretty nasty so we wait so the dough is ready look at this bad boy mm. deflation flour Pan in the pan. Look at my buns. Those. Uh, I just need to cover them and let them rest for another twenty-ish uh, minutes while the oven is getting hot. See, the buns are a bit overgrown but that's fine in the oven they go for i don't know 10 minutes 15 12 minutes 10 12 minutes so while the buns are in the oven we need to take care of the potatoes i wash i cut okay in the bowl they go Good amount of salt, pepper, I like to put a dash of turmeric oil, not too much, and the potatoes are ready to go in the oven. Whenever the buns are ready. Oh! No! No! What happened? I kind of messed up the buns. What happened? I messed up the buns. What happened? They're big. Do you want to see them? Yeah. Come. Whoa! <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, but the pun is the best part for that. We don't have that much meat! <laughs> Let me have the big one. Jesus. <laughs> the more the merrier. The I, the... I, I should have gotten a, a quarter pounder. pounder. <laughs> Damn it! Oh well, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be fine. Change of plans. It's not gonna be exactly like a Big Mac, but I, I'm making it a fat Mac instead of a. It's a heck of a chunker Mac. A heck of a chunker Mac, yeah. God, that, that's a whole loaf. <laughs> ah, come on, buns, come on. Okay, buns should be done. Every time. Okay. Ooh. They actually look good. They look humongous. This is my hand. This is a burger bun. What the hell did I just do? Jesus. Anyway. Potatoes in. Put them out. Potatoes go in for about 20 minutes. We have bacon because everything tastes better with bacon. Some patties. I think half form balls. And 
and then squish them. And let's see. Some bacon fat in there. So, toast the buns. Really important, you have to toast your buns. Perfect. Now it's time for the meat, the tiny meat. Lower the heat and put the cap on. Okay, so we have our burger, we have our bacon sauce, I have half an onion, red onion that is, which I'm gonna find each other. Like this and mix it in the sauce. Okay, so what we need, gold and sauce in the middle, followed by pickles. And don't slice them around, just long way. Long ways, just fill that bad boy up with pickles. If you don't have pickles on the burger, don't don't eat the burger. Lettuce or iceberg or however however it would be its name. With bacon, crispy bacon, crispy salad, and that would be our king with a crown. And this should be it. First. Take McDonald's, the Big Mac, out. Big! This Huge. is Big Mac. This is Oh Lord, he coming. <laughs> this is Big Mac. <laughs> this is crap. This is a work of art. A bigger Mac. A bigger Mac. Oh, that one looks so much better. Hmm? Yours looks so much better. McDonald's. McDonald's. I barely, I can barely cut it. And why? So, McDonald's. Mine. This has one layer. Does it? One layer because, well, I don't see the point in two layers. Mm -mm. McDonald's is crap. Time to eat now. Bye bye. Well, hello there. You stuck to the end. Wow. I'm impressed. What is wrong with you? Anyway, since you're already here, why not subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos? Maybe you'll like those too. You crazy bastard. Anyway, I gotta go. See ya!